Hello, Cancer viewers. I am back, back to doing readings. I'm also doing my private readings as well. Uh, just send me an email if you'd like to book a private reading. My email is right below in the description box below this video. It's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Um, let's get into the reading. It's just whatever the cards want to say to you. This may or may not reson resonate. It depends on if you're in this energy group. We have marriage. That's, that's a good card to come out first. Journey. Despair. Unexpected income. Mature woman. I feel like this could be this could be either for you or your person, but I think there might be like a family member here. An older woman that might be helping someone out financially. The family room change. Occupation. And courtship. Okay, what I'm getting from this. Oops, sorry about that. What I'm getting from this is I feel like there's somebody who's actually wanting to offer you some type of commitment. Now, this is basically just leveling up. So if you're single, then this person wants to take you on a date. This person wants to get to know you better. If you guys are already in a relationship, this person might be considering proposing because there is marriage here. Um, but basically, the sense that I'm getting from this is we have courtship right here, is that someone is feeling insecure because they feel like they don't have enough to offer you. Now, this could be, I'm getting for most of you, it's financially. Um, I'm getting pentacles energy, though, so this could also just be in sense of mental stability, like someone just kind of gets this sense that they just aren't, they're not quite able to meet your standards. They feel like they're not quite good enough for you. And I actually get a pretty good energy from this person. It just, it feels like somebody that has you up on a pedestal. And for some of you, this could be somebody that's also very old fashioned. So they might have these traditional family views of, you know, the man has to be the provider. The man has to, um, you know, take care, take care of everything. The man has to be mentally stable. The man has to, has to, uh, there's like a certain image that they have in their mind of, of what makes a good husband or what makes a good wife. And so I feel like that's why this person is holding back from you. Like this could be somebody that you're interested in and they, they make plans, but then they flake or they just don't follow through and you don't really understand it. Like you probably feel that energy of them holding back and you're just not sure why, because you guys have such good chemistry. There's this compatibility there. Because I feel like there's two different scenarios, like it's the same energy group, but one scenario is I feel like this is somebody that you're just getting to know and you're trying to get to know them better, but it's almost like they're blocking you, like they're not, they, they make plans, but then it's like they can't go have a drink with you or go out to dinner or really do anything with you. And I think it's, it's that they're embarrassed that they don't have a lot of extra money right now. Um... And they also just feel, like I said, for some of them, they feel like they need to get counseling or they need to mentally get back on track. Like they just feel like they they don't have enough to offer you at the moment. For others, I feel like some of you, this could be somebody that you're actually already connected to, like somebody that you're in a commitment with and they're wanting to marry you, but they're not sure if they can, because um, we have marriage and journey here and it's like they're not, they're not sure if they can afford the ring, afford the wedding. Um, but it's like somebody is wanting to take that next step. For some, it could even be living together and they might not know if they can, um, maybe like rent is going to be more if they, if you guys move in together or where you, you know, maybe if you guys are looking at places that are in a more um, unaffordable part of town, like they're nervous about that. But I'm just getting like this energy of somebody worrying about finances. Um, and like I said, for some, it's pentacles energy for, so for, for a lot of you, it's finances, but for others, it might just be mentally, men, uh, mental stability. Like they just feel like they're not quite at that level yet. Let me pull some more cards to see what else we get on here. Because it, it's, see with the marriage card and the journey card, it's like this person is trying to come forward. They're trying to, you see this man, it's like, he's looking at this train. He's trying to He's, it looks like the same man, actually, with this this top hat. That could be relevant for somebody. But it's like he's looking at this train, and he's trying to figure out how to make this journey forward. Like, how do I get to this point? How do I offer this person this next level of commitment? And then they, you know, they get stuck in their head. Dog might be significant for somebody, too. 
but they get stuck in their head and it looks like there actually is a way out. So unexpected income, I feel like this might be like a family member or somebody helping them because um, we have family room here too. And then we have change in occupation. So I feel like this person, oops, sorry about that. I feel like this person may also be changing careers. They may just, they may have a job that's just not financially stable enough for them. So they want to change occupations because they, they want to get to this point. This We have courtship, we have marriage. It's like the desire is there for um, either getting to know you better or for commitment, depending on how far along you guys are on this journey. Let me pull some additional cards. Let's see if we can get into this more. But yeah, I feel like this person's about to be blessed financially. And I feel like this is a good person. Like, I'm not getting a bad energy from this person. I'm getting the energy of somebody that is very loyal, um, has a lot of honor, a lot of integrity. They really, they're a little bit stuck in their ways, but not, not in an overly stubborn way. It's more like they're just very self-disciplined. So it's like, this is somebody who's not ever going to cheat on their significant other. This is somebody who's not going to... Um, if they don't feel like they have enough to offer you, they, they, they're not going to get caught up in the moment. They're not going to get caught up in that passion and just rush right in. They're the type of person to really analyze and, and sit back and think everything through, weigh the pros and cons. So, I mean, this, some, this is somebody who, you know, their heart is pulling them towards you. Their heart is pulling them to make this commitment, whether it's asking you out or marrying you or moving in together. They do want this higher level commitment with you. It's just like they keep getting in their head and they keep thinking, well, I don't have enough money or my, you know, um, I'm not physically in shape enough or, you know, for some of them, they have body image issues or I'm not mentally stable enough. Like, I'm just not quite like I want that commitment, but I want to make sure I can actually give this person everything that they deserve, you know, so it, it, it is a very sweet energy. I think they're being a little bit too hard on themselves. I think this is somebody that's... Um, that's, I mean, there's self-discipline, which is attractive, but sometimes I feel like this person needs to let their emotions in more. They need to be a little bit more passionate sometimes, you know what I mean? Like sometimes this person just overanalyzes things and they really, um, you know, need to just open themselves up more. I, f I feel like this person's family too instilled certain views in them in when they were younger about, you know, what a healthy relationship looks like and what being a good person looks like. And so they're kind of just stuck in that, that tunnel vision where they're like, okay, I have to make this amount of money and I have to live in this part of town and I have to do this and this and this, otherwise I'm not worthy enough, you know? Um, so I think the issue is just them getting in their head. But like I said, it does look like someone's coming to help them. And this is really going to boost their confidence too. Now, this is either someone just helping them financially, like just giving them some money or lending them some money, or this might be someone connecting them to a new job because we do have a possible change of occupation here, which leads to courtship. So, and for those of you that um, it's not financial where your person is just, you know, they're financially doing okay, but just mentally they're not feeling right I feel like this person might actually be seeking counseling and it's that counseling that's it's like an unexpected blessing where it's going to help them feel more stable and it's going to kind of open their eyes and make them realize that they don't need to procrastinate they can have love in this present moment you know because sometimes perfectionism is really a form of self-sabotage it's like people you know, they sabotage, but they, they tell themselves they're, they're, they're not sabotaging that they're just, they're, they're wanting to make sure all their ducks are in a row, which, you know, that can be a good thing. But when you, when there's this pattern of using that as an excuse, you know, it, and you end up becoming stagnant, but, but somebody is helping this person and that's going to lead them back to you. Could even be a guardian angel. At first, some of it might not even be a, a, someone that's physically alive. It could be like an ancestor or a spirit, spirit guide. The Empress and the Sun. This person really has you up on a pedestal. We got a lot of good cards here. We have the Empress, the Sun, the Ace of Swords. So this person thinks very highly of you. This person sees you as somebody that could be the mother of their children or father of their children. Um, if they have stepchildren, they or if they have children, they they feel like you would be a good stepmother or stepfather. The Empress is just very nurturing, very um 
very strong, but very angelic at the same time. Very, very loving, very grounded, very connected to the earth, to nature. Um, you know, the Empress is basically all four queens in the deck combined. Like that's, that's, you know, the ideal person. So they, they see, they see you as this, they see you as their ideal person. They see you as the one they, they really, you know, see you in a very high regard, um, and it's one of those things where it's almost self-sabotage, though, because they have you on such a pedestal that they just they feel like they're never good enough for you physically, mentally, emotionally. And so they really just kind of have to get out of their head. But but yeah, this this woman is helping them with that, whether she's alive or she's, you know, maybe an ancestor or somebody on the other side that was connected to this man. It could be like a mother or a grandmother figure that passed on that's helping this man and helping you guys come back together. But it's a really beautiful energy. But with the sun, it's like they are wanting to come forward. They are wanting to communicate. Ace of Swords is clarity, communication. They are planting the seeds, even if it looks like there's not much going on right now. They are really trying to, um, with the star, that's all about hope and healing and faith and, and planting the seeds. Got Page of Wands, the Tower, Three of Cups. King of Wands. Two of Swords and the Eight of Wands. So I feel like for some of them, they also went through the, this tower moment. I feel like like for those, especially for those that are, well, for those that are, um, you know, financially struggling, I feel like some of them are going to be fired or they're just going to get an argument at work. It's going to be one of those things where they might be in like a toxic, stagnant job. And this could also be you. This could be your reading. This might not apply to somebody else. Just, just take it how it resonates. You know, see these readings as an intuitive exercise. If I say the tower means this, but to you it means something else, like go with your intuition. You know, this is, this is a chance to really um, develop and build your intuition and just, just take the cards as they resonate with you. But for those that are uh, mentally struggling, if your person is mentally struggling, I feel like there was like a tower moment and this might be in counseling. This might just be the, the epiphanies that this older woman, this possible spirit guide is is bringing this person because there was some type of type of tower moment, but it doesn't feel like it was bad necessarily. It feels more like it was like a sudden realization I think this person realized that they're putting their life on hold. I think that might have been that tower moment is somebody might have called them out. And, and this could even be like a mutual friend of yours or something that just told this person like, hey, why aren't you pursuing, you know, so and so like this person's interested in you. Why are you holding like someone trying to like be their wingman? Like, why are you holding back? Like this person's right in front of your face. They're interested in you. And I think this person kind of had this tower moment where they realize they do need to have fun in their life again. It's like almost like this person has been so focused on healing and they've been so focused on just perf on, you know, self-improvement and perfecting themselves that they've sort of forgotten to live their life. Like they've kind of just forgotten to like go out there and, and have fun and just relax once in a while and, you know, pursue their hobbies and their passions and, and do the, the things that really make life worth living. It's like this person has just had tunnel vision. It's, it's like they just won't rest until they're you know, until they have a certain amount of money or until they have a certain car or until they're, you know, at a certain weight or, um, you know, maybe like at the gym, they have certain goals. And it's like this person just had this epiphany. Someone might have called them out or said something to them that just made them realize like, hey, I need to have fun in my life. I need to go out once in a while. I need to be in nature once in a while. I need to stop being so uptight and so strict and I, I need to just let myself relax and just enjoy life again and just be happy you know it's, it's almost like a trauma response where this person is just like going 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 just like not resting and now it's like everything's kind of coming crashing in on them and they're being forced to rest it's it's what is that saying if you if you don't find time to rest your body will basically force you to your body will make time for you you know what I mean um for others, I do feel like that tower might have been 
maybe just like stress or some type of epiphany, whatever it was though, it, it does, it has led this person to realize that they need to be in more of a, a king or queen of wands energy, that they've been so focused on being the king or queen of pentacles or the king or queen of swords, and they've already mastered those energies. And now it's like they need to, to come around and maybe be in more of the this passionate, fiery, um, you know, charismatic energy that the king or queen of wands carries. And I think that they're, they're wanting to move forward quickly with the Two of Swords and the Eight of Wands. It's like they're wanting to come forward with this passionate new beginning, with this offer for you. Yeah, their strength, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is about integrity, honesty, loyalty, making these vows for you. The Emperor, the Queen of Cups. This is somebody that's in a very strong masculine energy too. Whether this is um, male or female, this does seem like almost like an alpha type. This is just somebody that just, you know, there's a huge sense of loyalty and integrity, especially with the emperor. The emperor is like daddy energy. That's like, that's like basically the daddy of the deck right there is the emperor. Um, you notice it's like he's making these promises to this woman. He's looking at this woman, you know, and she's looking down like she's, she's being gentle. She's being patient. She's kind of tired of waiting. You know, she's in this queen of cups energy where she's receptive, but she's, you're in your feminine power. You're in, you know, and, and this could be, you know, don't get caught up on gender. You could be a male that's that's exploring your feminine side and being in that receptive energy. So even if I say, you know, male or female, if you know it's it's the opposite, just take it as it resonates. But someone's in their feminine power here with the Queen of Cups and especially with the Empress. It's like you're just, you're waiting, you're patient, you're not, you're learning not to go and, um, you're learning to be in your feminine receptive energy, basically. You're letting, you're learning to manifest things. You're learning to draw things to you. Some of you are using like binaural beats or subliminal messages. It's like you're just standing in your power as the emperor or as the empress and just letting these things be drawn to you, letting yourself be in this, this feminine energy and letting these things come to you naturally. And this is really inspiring, like your, your, your patience and your understanding and also just being there. It's like you're, you've mastered this balance where I feel like in the past, maybe you chased people too much or um, it, there was just or maybe you were too guarded. There was just some, some type of imbalance. But I feel like now you have this perfect balance where You've learned how to show interest in people and you've learned how to put yourself out there, but in a way that's really gentle and very grounded and still allows this person to step up and come to you. It's like you just, you kind of make your, um, it's like a very seductive energy where you just kind of make your presence known, like you're open to this person, but you're, you're living your best life. You're not waiting around for them, but you are open if they come around kind of energy. You know, you're manifesting this. Um, and, and this energy that you're in, this um, this Queen of Cups energy, just pursuing the things that make you happy, just being in this very grounded, very stable energy is making this person want to step up and be in the Knight of Swords energy and the Emperor energy and, you know, have the strength to really just lay it all on the table and stop sabotaging and stop trying to perfect everything and just finally come forward to you. For some of you, I feel like maybe you've been waiting on a marriage proposal, and I think that the fact that you haven't pushed this person for it, you haven't, you, you know what I mean, like you haven't nagged them for that proposal, or to take you on a date, or whatever it might be, you've actually just been very grounded and patient and understanding with them, and that energy is making them, it's, it's making them see you as this empress, as, you know, the ideal person, and they're wanting to come forward, so... I hope that resonates. Um, as I said, if you want a private reading, my email is right below in the description box below this video. It is dragonenchantress at aol.com. I charge $50 for a 30 plus minute reading. A lot of the readings end up going to about an hour or so, and I'll answer all your questions in depth. So just send me an email if you'd like to do that. Um, please subscribe and please share this message if it resonates too. Thank you guys for watching.